welcome to the Progressing Area. My name is Jan, and today we're playing at EU4 Let's Play as Austria. It's been a while. I know I mentioned in yesterday's episode what the issues were um, in yesterday's new episode. I just had a lot of technical difficulties. I, I started going back to work after my vacation. Was just a lot of things happened at the same time, and it was quite stressful and difficult. So I, I hope you will accept my apology for the lack of episodes. However, um, I did record two episodes before all of this happened. Now, my hard drive failed, which means I lost the footage, but what happened is we integrated, also, we integrated uh, Hungary, so we are now quite big over here. Uh, we also took some provinces from the French, so Maine, Alcon, Vermandois, and Bourgogne, for which they hate us. I think they're actually in a coalition against us. The only ones, but they are. Um, I've done several Imperial Liberation type thing is in the Empire. I kind of just want to get at least one more reform in. I mean, why not? Um, I also have started integrating Castile, which should be semi-cheap. Eight Diplo points each month because, because we're Austria and we're awesome. And we have this, which is which gives us um, integrated elites, minus 25% cost and... Yeah, and Austria already has minus 20% annexation cost, so that's kind of, you know, 8 points a month is okay when you have 165 points to give, um, and we're only receiving 8 per month. So we should be okay with this integration. I mean, we technically shouldn't lose any points out of this. Um, I'm still going to wait until we integrate at least half of them before I take a technology, uh, which would be Worf. Um, I am behind in technology because we have integrated Hungary, so that took quite a while um, and cost quite a bit because we didn't have all the thingies yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let's let's continue on. I mean, I'm sure we can find something to do. Um, Guyen wants a royal marriage. I'm okay with that. Guyen is um, Oldenburg. Uh, I think we just changed kings as well. So we might have to look into improving some relations here, like with Bohemia. Bohemia really needs improved relations. And I think we have a mission. Liberate Transylvania from the Ottomans. Um, acceptance of all is the road to progress. Yes, one base tax in Ansbach. Whoa, that clipped. Apologize. Um, and I'm making claims on the Ottomans. Did he call the diplomat from there? Our advisor died. Oh dear. Don't know if we, do we really need him. I, I could take the military guy, but... Can't really afford him at the moment. I mean, our military is quite... Large. I think we have around 120,000 men at the moment. Which is more than anyone, I believe. Yeah, we have far more men than anyone. Uh, with our alliance base, I didn't show this because I think it expanded. Um, Guyen, Commonwealth, and Russia are all our allies now. Now, I married, married Russia for one reason only. They tend to have bad problems <laughs> with their kings all the time, so I kind of want them in the PU. Uh, I did add some vassals as well over here. I had, added Oldenburg and then gave them back their lands that Munster had conquered and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, let's also let's fabricate some claim on France. Yeah, let's let's use two diplomats to fabricate claims on France and um, the Ottomans, the Osmani bastards. Um, you guys are heading home, so I'll send this army down here and then back into Vienna. They're pretender rebels. They should get stack wiped. I could take the less aggressive expansion though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're standing still at 800, uh, at 600, so... I mean, I could take the technology. Since we are integrating a colonial empire. Royal marriage with Russia ended. That's not good. They have an air. They have a regency council. Uh, but we should always have a royal marriage with Russia. We also have huge power projection because we did... Uh, conquer provinces from France and Venice and been discovered fabricating a claim on Ile de France which I don't care about yeah, you need actually was I trying to get anyone else in 
to my sphere of influence. I don't remember. Oh, we're not married. Great, let's continue fabricating claims down here. Yes, yes, yes. Now take everything from the Ottomans. We are Austria, we are great. And we have a free diplomat. Um, I probably wanted to get someone else into the empire. Let, let's look at the influence over here and see who would be a vassal. No. You would be a vassal. You are quite cute and small. Did we improve relations? Oh, we were there at 73. Maybe Wurzburg. Actually, no. That's our problem. I forgot. I forgot that our issue is that everyone hates us. Even though we are the great mighty Austria. Now, someone is trying to conquer Maine, which I'm okay with. If Wurzburg conquers Maine, I will let them do it, and then I will have them release Maine. Simple as that. Yeah, this will take a while longer. We're not fabricating claims anymore. Must fabricate all the claims so we can take all the things from France. Um, our allies. Now I notice someone doesn't like us. Guien doesn't really like us. Okay. Guien is just down here now. We are by far the biggest empire in the world, and we could uh, get Cayman Cremona. Yeah, sure, why not? Cremona's over here. If we go to Parma, it would be better. But yeah, France is really hating us because we keep getting discovered. We might take Cremona if if who is Milan led to? A lot of people. If one of these people gets involved with us in a war somehow. We'll kick that ass. Who do we have truces with? No one at the moment. Oh, we do. <laughs> have a lot of truces. Especially with France. Could go after the Ottomans. Mm. I do like conserving my manpower. Huh? And we are still integrating Castile. Spared no expenses. Yeah, we aren't gaining or losing anything. How is that inflation? It's going down. Hess wants military access. Okay. But if this gets taken by Würzburg, then I'll just attack Würzburg um, and have them release, have them release um, mines again. I wish I could do the same with Brunswick. Uh, not Brunswick with uh, Hessing. Have them release Brunswick and Frankfurt. Because the end, that's what you want to do. You just want them to release things so that you get. Oh, Russia has a disputed secession. They have a regency for someone, so they do have a heir, it's just a weak link. Yeah, Woodsburg took that. Okay, we'll just use one army and should be enough. Just to have them release mines. They are allied with Brandenburg, Alsace, and Ulm. So I'll send an army over here. It's gonna cross into Elzach. Actually, I'm gonna split it in half. Send one half over there. So one half is gonna go into Ulm, one half is gonna go into Elzach, and then Brandenburg will be taken care of by um, Bohemia. Yeah. Nope. Russia, don't need you this time. Since everyone else honors our alliances. Russia! The Russian conquest of Finland against Sweden. What they have started, Sweden is allied with Great Britain, Friesland, and the Hansa. Uh, well, yeah, we have to. So now I'm at war with half the world. Which is not what I planned. I won the Battle of Elzach. Almost didn't, though. Yeah, the Hansa's also at war with us. And all our allies did join, so we're good. Um, I did have an army up here. 
So I can go after this Hanseatic army. I'll have to that Friesland army first, because then we don't get a crossing penalty. And they're going into Oldenburg, so... Yeah, if... Yeah, I'm never gonna catch them over there, am I? No, but they're going after the Brandenburg, uh, or the Bohemia army over here, which I can catch them for. I did not want to fight a war on two fronts, but... I mean, it's never my intention to fight a war on two fronts. I'm gonna try catching them in Bremen. While they have low morale. And then just trying, gonna try follow them around and see where they go. Okay, they're going north. I've taken the Siege of Elzac. So I'll drop my army in Schleswig. Um, they won't be coming south from there. I'm gonna sue for peace over here. I'm not gonna take Elzac, I'm just gonna peace them out. Um, I will, however, take Ulm. If that manages to be sieged anytime soon. Um, and then I need to bring my armies up north. Like, my allies, even though they're my allies, they don't um, have much power. We can continue fabricating claims. In these two provinces? We only have a few provinces left to claim. What did I take as a mission again? We don't have a mission. Yeah, well then. A Castile came north. Sweden is in, is the war leader, so I mean, Russia is gonna definitely take care of that, but... Just, I don't want any British surprises. Um, like, British surprises in North Africa. Or North Africa, not New America. Yeah, Würzburg is getting siege, but that's not really what I want. I mean, I want Ulm. Because it's ugly in the middle of my nation. I mean, Würzburg is great and all, it's just... Someone's a heretic. Can revoke Migdeburg. Because they're a heretic? Interesting, but they love me, don't they? Yeah, they do. They don't vote for me, but they love me. I wish I could vassalize Brandenburg. Probably could as well. Yeah, Bamberg has been taken now, so we're gonna have to end this war. And Ulm, thank god. I'm gonna be hated a little bit, but it's fine. There we go, they were ugly in the middle of our country. Are we getting attrition here? No, we're not. Yeah, and I don't have a diplomat. I could vassalize them. I'll be hated for them, but they are another, another elector. Um, so I actually will. No one wants to work. Come on, just take it. Why are these sieges taking forever? Yeah, shut up, Brandenburg. It's 63%, I mean, for Christ's sake. Yeah, Russia's really good with this war. They're just conquering everything. And the British are not doing a thing about it. Oh, I did forget to let them negotiate for us. Yeah, we should definitely let them do that. We've taken Schleswig. I'm gonna go one further south into Holstein. There's Danish Patriots. Ah, there we go. And they will be a vessel. Right. So that's another electorate um, under my belt. And then you are just going to release mines. Which will give us some imperial authority. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure we can fabricate one more claim down here, as we can on Altenia. You still like me, but I'm going to improve relations a bit more. And yeah, that, that's it for my war 
efforts. Not a crush it. I'll let Russia take care of everything else. As long as England does not carry heavy troops over here, we should be fine. Maybe even get a colony. Sounds like fun. Sounds like something we should do. Have a colonial empire, right? And there's still an elective monarchy. Which, I hate elective monarchies so much. I mean, they're awesome if you're playing as one, and I mean, they're an interesting mechanic, don't get me wrong. It's just... It's monarchies. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna improve relations with someone. Like the Commonwealth. Like, we had a claim on the Commonwealth throne. I mean, we had the same dynasty, and I wish I could have claimed it, because that would be just... I mean, look at it. It's one of the biggest areas on the map. It would just make us gigantic, and definitely be able to stand up against Russia. I mean, we can already stand against Russia, it's just annoying to do it at the moment. But yeah, we're winning this war mostly because Russia is sieging all of Sweden. I kind of want to take this. This aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. Or the technology. Actually, I want to take the technology. I'll take the technology. We should be fine. Should be more than fine. Even if our heir became king, we should be fine. Ish. We'll be even better off than we are now. We'll miss Bavarian, which is an accepted culture. It's also within our borders. Friesland ceded Friesland to Austria and all the treaties with Sweden. Okay, I'll take it. They might be Dutch, but I'll take it. This army is gonna go and stand in it. Actually, what am I doing? No, three times the coalition against me. I'm not going to court it. Definitely not going to court it. I'm gonna, as soon as this war is over, uh, give it to Oldenburg. Who we will eventually integrate anyways. Let's improve relations with random people in the hatchery. Ulm is now a core. How fantastic is that? Convert everything. Income from vessels plus 25%, subject force limit plus 25%, a firm hand, fantastic. It's because of our influence idea group. Um, I took the humanist idea group because just because there are so many different nations in here. And half of them aren't accepted culture. Ah, uh, that's not the map mode I wanted. I wanted this one. Like, Hungarian is not accepted. Umbrian is not accepted. Burgundian, Cosmopolitan, Norman. Castilian and Catalan and Andalusian, I doubt, will be accepted. It just... Um, I took it because of that, because I want those to be accepted cultures. It will save us so much problems later on. Lüneburg, what are you doing? Lüneburg in conquest of Altmark. But yeah, not quoting Friesland, we'll set it to um, Oldenburg and we'll integrate them later. Period liberation against Köln. Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth conquest of Izmit against the Ottomans. Oh, yes. Naturally. Naturally, we will do everything within our power to fight the Ottomans. Um, I'm gonna do another leader down here, though. Oh, he's an okay leader. Now, the Ottomans are the same tech level as we are. We have nationalists in... French Comte. Würzburg is in a coalition against us. Let them negotiate for us. Okay, so they did decide to attack us in my own territory. Which is interesting. We do have far higher morale, though. And I can reinforce a lot better than they can. Uh, yeah, we'll grant them privileges. I can siege just about anything. 
Granted, the fourth army down here would would be nice, but yeah, the amount of armies that we have compared to the amount of armies they have is amazing. Like they will never, ever, ever get back together. Uh, no, they will never surpass us in the amount of armies we have. And we've already taken a siege. Actually go into Serbia. Serbia is the other one we have claims on. I did allow them to negotiate for us, so hopefully we get a few claims down here. Or we get a few cores, rather. We've taken Bosnia, which is Bosnia. Which is another one of those nations that is not going to say anything about Bosnia. I'm for Yugoslav, so we have we are prejudiced against them, I guess. I'm taking some attrition here. 3%, 3.8%, 1%, it's okay. Yeah, we've got a coalition growing, it's just fine, I don't care. Taking the siege of Serbia. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna send these armies down south. Just make sure that I have all four armies down here and have the Ottomans well scared. We're going to Mutin Muntinia. Converted Friesland. I wish I could sell Friesland to Oldenburg right now, but we're at war. Damn it! They would take it because it is Dutch, and they do have Dutch as an accepted culture. Can take uh, an idea group. Uh, we can take tolerance, religious unity plus 25%. Yes, please. And also gives us Austrian court, which is diplomatic relations plus one, which is fantastic. It just gives us more points. Royal marriage with Brandenburg ended, which is okay, they are a vassal, so we don't really care. Um, the reason I took them as a vassal and pissed off half of Europe is, we will remain being emperor. Like, we now have a guaranteed emperorship. Um, we control three of, four of the electors. I don't plan on integrating any of them at the moment. So, we'll, we'll just, yeah, we'll continue being emperor this way. And I'm okay with that. Now, all of our armies from the north have now come south. Siege of Voltinia has fallen to the Austrians, which is fantastic. I am depleting my manpower slightly, though. Just by sieging like this, but I don't really care. Gien! Gienica, Quest of Girona! Yes, we will take it. We'll also dedicate an army to it. Because we have s claims over here. Ah, uh, why are you assaulting, you moron? Why would you assault? Who are you? Savoy. Yeah, I'll send an army over here and siege. Um... Let's see. Sweden ceded Finland, Westerbotten, Halland, Tavsland, and Jämtland to Russia. Gave course Kane, Halland, Belkin, and Denmark. Gave course Elsa to Norway. Okay, that's one war over. I was not holding control, but okay. Ulm is now the proper faith. There we go. And Siege Milana. Taken Tarnova, which is another one. I head into Edirne, so that they don't cross over. And we can destroy them. Uh, what is happening? Let's send this guy down. Oh, I thought I detached the siege. Yeah. No, we got defeated. Impossible. Yeah, let's send, let's say the, the great general. No, still getting defeated. Except I have more troops to reinforce with. You don't. Bastards. And one of my generals died. And it was the good one. Taken Mutinia. Okay. We can take a technology, military technology, Mauritian infantry. We'll take the technology, but not changing the infantry style though. 
Not just yet. Yeah, but it's a bit secure on the Ottoman border now. If you take in Silistria, send it into Burgas. Yeah, the Ottoman border is now secure. Um, so I'm gonna um, focus a bit on the Milani border because I see they have an army over here. And I can always reinforce. And they are attacking into mountains, like Waldstade is almost guaranteed to um, have a penalty. Hello. Should be winning these quite easily though. Don't understand how we're not. Oh, it was just mm, the month. We still haven't stack wiped them. There we go. That's it for the Milanese. They're probably out of the war. For good. Which one? Let's take that one. We had so many people born to us, it's not even funny. We are just controlling the Curia. We are the most powerful country in the world. Albanian nationalists in Albania. Oh, we do not care. Oh, and someone took care of our nationalists over here. I didn't even notice. And this episode is running long. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And uh, until next time. Bye-bye.